Okay, folks, it's time to change the oil in your outboard. And it's an easy process if you have the right tools and the right gear. And what I happen to have here is a 75 horse tiller. It actually has a kit from Quicksilver that has everything in it. it has the oil, has the oil filter, has the drain tube. All you need is the filter wrench and a 5 8 uh, inch socket to remove the drain plug. Let me show you the procedure to go through. And it's an easy step by step. Matter of fact, the directions come right in the box on how to change the oil on your outboard motor. So the first thing we want to do is trim your motor to the full up position. That way you can drain any of the oil out of the sump and uh, you want to leave it for about a minute. So we're going to trim that all the way up. All right, the next thing we want to do is we're going to remove the oil cap, set that up there, and then down here is where the drain plug is. We're going to loosen the drain plug up, and you want to just break that loose, okay? Okay, you want to grab the hose, slide that on to the end of the plug. Okay, I'm going to loosen it up more. You kind of want to work the hose up on it as the oil comes out. Loosen that plug up and then let that oil start to drain into a pan. Okay, now that we're at the end of the oil draining process, I'm going to remove the plastic tube, get any excess oil out of that. Then you'll want to go back to your drain plug, tighten that back up with your fingers. Once you get it snug, then take the 5 8 inch ratchet, put that on there and tighten that up. There we go. The next step is remove the oil filter and to put a new one on. So you want to have the appropriate oil filter wrench and break that oil filter free and then slowly loosen that up. And then typically what I like to do is with a rag in hand, take that oil filter off that way you can catch any excess oil that may be still in there. Take it off. You see, there's a little catch tray here that would catch any additional oil. If there is any oil in there, wipe that out. Check around the, the seal area where that goes, make sure everything is good. Now we'll put the new oil filter back on the outboard. To put the new filter on, you want to make sure you put oil on the seal. You want to use clean oil. So typically what I do, uh, is stick my finger in it, get my finger with some oil on it, and then simply go around that seal like that, and you can see, put a nice film of oil around that seal. All right, we're gonna put the new oil filter back on the motor. You wanna check, make sure this is all clean. We've got oil on the seal. And I'm gonna put it on there, I'm gonna start it with my hand, and slowly turn that oil filter down Okay, I'm there, I can make contact. Now I'm gonna tighten it up by hand to secure it. Okay, one final thing I like to do before I add the oil is I actually will pull the dipstick on the motor and I'm gonna wipe that clean so there's no oil residue on that from when we drain the oil. So you can see that's clean. See where the markings are on it so we know when we're putting the fresh oil in where it should be on the dipstick. So I'll put that back in now, all the way down secure. Time to add the oil. Look on the dipstick there. There you have it. Nice, clean, fresh oil. All right, looks good. We're ready to go and put another 100 hours on it before we got to worry about changing the oil again.